Well, we are back. It is 1042, and uh, we're here with Wendy Hendricks and guest Barry. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank yeah, you. Get you. close to that microphone. We were all yes, chatting here off air. Mic. And uh, and we have another guest, and she's told me her name three times, and I, I cannot remember. Carolyn Bowles. Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn, Carolyn, Carolyn. Thank you for coming in today. Now, um, I won't forget her name after this, now that I've got it. It's anyway. okay. Now, uh, Wendy, you're way down there on the end. Hello. You're so far away. Good morning. You brought all these wonderful guests today. What are we talking about for our business segment today? Well, first of all, you know, last week I started with the camo theme. Yes. And I have camo on again. I love it. Uh, we're, I said we're at war for local business. And, of course, I bought this at McKenzie's. Of course. Which is Carolyn's yes. store in Sartell. I love it. Yes. And I bought this because this is her. She's, I needed camel for a yoga retreat. And she's like, this is a necessity for every woman to have in your closet. It's, it's a necessity like toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> you remember that. Yeah, That's that her. That was a long time ago, too. <laughs> oh, I yes. love it. That so is So she me. has some exciting things happening at McKenzie's. Well, Carolyn, thank you for coming on the show today because we're <laughs> super excited about this segment. We're, Barry, we're happy to have you here, too, because you just got all this great insight with SESU, and Wendy's always going to you whenever she thinks that somebody needs a little bit of advice. So I just feel like we just have this wonderful team here. So it's so fun to be able to have a business owner in the studio to talk about what's going on in these and I am things. honored to be the first person to come in yes. and be able to talk about McKenzie's. Well, <laughs> tell us about McKenzie's. Tell us how it's going. You know, uh, in a nutshell, um, McKenzie's is a great little boutique at Sartell, and I do all of the ordering, so everything is hand picked. And I have worked there for twelve years and just bought it October first. Really? Um, yeah. Mm. So I kind of have become friends with a lot of the customers, a lot of the people. And for me, it's not like work. I mean, it's just like going to hang out and talk to people. Oh, how nice. Um, and the relationships that I've made um, are amazing. So it's just a great place to come and get personal attention, which I think is really lacking in a lot of stores or the mall. Yeah. So it's nice to be able to come. And we don't just talk about shopping. We talk about life. And that's right. how you make friendships and you help each other. I think we were chatting about this last week, how in this new kind of economy, the strange world that we're in, how uh, the boutiques, and you've always kind of wanted to come back. You know what I mean? Uh, you felt like maybe the big, bigger box stores took away for a little while. And then, but when you find that one store, you always want to go yeah. there. And so here we have now more people, I think, out adventuring into smaller stores because they don't want to be in a big crowd. And when they find you, do you find that, once they get in there, it's easy to oh, keep them as a customer. It's literally two steps in the door, yeah. and they are just taken. They I bet they look it. around and they go, oh, my gosh, I didn't know this was here. Yeah, and a lot of people, it's it's funny how even people in Sartell didn't even know we were there until I started doing um, this video on our Facebook page about five years ago. And it's very consistent because um, that is what kept has kept it alive. It's the consistency of being at the same place, the same time. So every Friday morning at 6 a.m., mm -hmm. people are having coffee, watching the video. They they watch the video from their workplaces. I mean, probably shouldn't say that. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, they, people can multitask they, these well, days. They gather around their computers <laughs> and watch it together, and that's, that's very special. And they know they want to come right in Friday morning and get all the new stuff. So. And she'll have a line at the door on Fridays. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's very exciting. <laughs> have you always been interested in fashion your whole entire life, or did it kind of come around mm. a different way? No, nope, since I was five. Really? Literally uh, grew up on a farm, very, not, I wouldn't say poor because we were rich because we had each other. Oh, um, sweet. But we didn't have a lot, hand-me-downs. I had eight brothers and sisters, and I loved little dresses and things since I was a little girl, and it's just always been a love of mine. I, mm. I've, my, my theory is, is when you don't have to be um, have expensive things to look good, but I feel that when people look good and feel good about themselves, they tend to treat others better. I think that's probably true. Well, yeah, they don't have say a that. need to cut other people down. Yeah. Because they feel good about themselves. No, Carolyn, uh, did you know Barry before? Have you ever met? I mean, did you guys meet before today? Have you ever worked together? Oh, yes, the SBDC. Tell, okay. tell us a little bit about right. what you did with the SBDC, right. Barry. Do you, would you like to say something? I was very fortunate to come across Barry and be led to him oh. on my journey. Carolyn has been so much fun to work with. Uh, sometimes, and we'll talk about this next week on business succession and things, 
Um, we just really got to know each other. You can tell she had the passion, and she said, Barry, I'm going to make this happen, and, and I need your help. And uh, she was a very good client. Mm -hmm. She did her homework faithfully, which is part of it. And I tried to keep up with my homework <laughs> assignments <laughs> because it's a partnership. And I'll let, I'll let Carolyn, this is her time, talk about her experience. But uh, she was a textbook and a very, very fun and sincere client to work with. So, Barry, tell us just a little bit about what you did to help Carolyn in her business. And then we'll listen to her story. Yeah. I want to hear it from Carolyn. The story oh, yeah. that I did. oh, he's putting her on the Carolyn spot. Carolyn gets to do what, it all. What, I'll, I'll, because I think clients would go, oh, that SBDC, how do they work? I, I know how I work in my head, but I want to hear how it works oh, in Carolyn's okay. head. Oh, my so, yes. yes. Okay. okay, so first of all, I am a art brain, so I am a creative. I am not a numbers person. High five, girlfriend. High Me five. too. Yes. yes. <laughs> so um, he's all about the numbers, and that was where I think I lacked, and I didn't know um, about what it takes um, to get all those numbers together, and it's that's just hard. Like, I just want to talk to the people and dress yeah. them and help them feel good about themselves. I know themselves. I'm good at what I do. This is what I do. Right. Yeah. But what he did was he helped get all those numbers together to make things work. And, okay, you can spend this much here and you can do this and you have to do this. Because that's what I really um, struggled with. I didn't know there was so much of that involved. But that's really the key to having a successful yeah. business is, you know, he, that's what he taught me. You have to know the numbers. You have to. You got to stick with that and follow that. So did you? Did you have the when you um, work the business and then go? Okay, wait a minute. I need a little bit of help with this. Or did you get the help before you kind of took over? No, he's. I was led to him. Okay. Um, by Bremer Bank, a friend of mine um, suggested. Well, maybe you should talk with this Barry hmm. over at the SBCD. Boy, you've got a <laughs> reputation, he Barry. Might, yeah. It's pretty nice to know that it's a really great one, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and she is one of the few. I said last week how I send a lot of people to Barry, and very few pass the test. She passed. She passed. Oh, oh yes. I mean, I just want to qualify, and I said to this before we went on air, this is about the SBDC. This isn't about Barry. <laughs> I'm going to hear about this in the streets. I just know it. I know. <laughs> yeah, but Barry, I always told him he, I think that life is like connecting the dots. And when I found him, all the dots started to connect. And um, I knew it was, we're going to make it happen. It's going to happen. And now we're already jumping on to the second phase of McKinsey's, which is our online. Woohoo! Really? Yeah. Big have, announcement. Wanted, yes. I have wanted to be online for years because, because of the video. There are people from all over the country that watch a video and beg, will you please ship? Will you please ship? So now we're going to get to do that a week from today is when we oh launch our online goodness. store. Now yeah. I'm going to have to talk to you and doing an endorsement so you can dress me and I can do <laughs> videos online. And <laughs> yeah. I would love to do that. I would love oh. to do and that. And another local business, Gaslight Creative, is helping her launch her online store. So yes. I love oh. that it's, it's all local business that's yes. making this happen. We've talked about that so many times about the magic of this community. When business people work together, musicians work together, it's like people who have kind of the same vision, they find each other here and they don't fight. I mean, I'm sure there are some, but we have so many people that say, let's work together because it's going to benefit all of us. And I love that. And that's what we're all, what this show, what this segment yes. is all about is when local businesses, they, you, when you're a local business owner, you understand, you know, we yeah. all understand what you're going through. We've been there and we can help you take the steps going forward. And it's just wonderful when everyone works together. Like I said last week, all ships rise together. So yeah. neighborhood yeah. marketing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, mm -hmm. so when is the online going to take off I well mean, wednesday next wednesday evening i'm going to do like because i love qvc and hsn so i'm going to do like a little qvc video on the merchandise and then it'll launch at seven o'clock at night wow. and so people will be able to start ordering at seven so Man. we should have a party like a big launch party I know, we need to Gosh, have a party it's right? so exciting. of course yes. it'll probably have to be virtual right now yeah yes. oh, right yeah <laughs> But that's part of the thing that I think is so amazing. And one of the reasons we want to have the show is to give people hope. This kind of been my whole plan for this year is what can I do with this show? It's called It Matters, mm -hmm. but I wanted to do even more this year, trying to really get out there and get people, you know, understanding that you you have it in you. It does take effort. It's not like, I'm sure Carolyn's not like sleeping, you know, 18 hours a day and just hoping that people walk in the store to buy stuff. Owning a business is is like... 
having four jobs. <laughs> I always uh-huh. tell people when you own a business, when you're trying to get it off the ground, there's a lot of work involved. The unofficial uh, definition of an entrepreneur is somebody that rather works seven days a week, 16 hours a day, rather than five days a week, 40 hours, five days a week, 40 hours a week for somebody else. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that I mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. It feels really good. I mean, I love Bob and Linda feeling they they owned the store. Mackenzie is their granddaughter. That's who the store was named okay. after. So I did not want to change the name. Yeah. I want to honor that. And they were so generous to me. Um, just have a great relationship with them. So I'm just so blessed that I get to have a business that it's honestly not like work. I mean, the number stuff is. Yeah. No offense, Barry. <laughs> and you but, take it very seriously. Jump in right, for a minute. Right. This, is, this is our struggle from the SBDC side because people like to work in their businesses. They work hard. And I love my business. We pull our head up, right, Carolyn, and say, yes, but you also have yes. to work on your business. Oh, good. Yeah. And yeah, working that's... on your business is knowing your numbers. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. And and you taught me that. So, and I'm paying a lot more attention to that now. But um, no, I just am so blessed that I get to do a job or have a business where it's not only about just dressing people and and finding cute things for them to wear. Um, it's about helping them with their just daily life. You mm-hmm. know, struggles that other women or people might have. It's such an honor that they share their stories with me, and everyone has a story to tell, and I love to listen to the stories. So, wow. And I have great girls working for me, too. My daughter helps out, and she's actually the person doing the online okay. um, with Kelly from Gaslight. Um, they've been doing a great job. So Now, for those who don't know where McKenzie's is, because you say you have people walk in, they go, now, where is this again? Or, you know, there's somebody who says, I don't know where it is, and then they come in, I had no idea, and they look around. Where are you located? Um, right in Sartell. Um, see, and I go by the old farm directions, you know, down the road from the Foley. <laughs> oh, my Valley. gosh. Are you from Princeton or what? <laughs> I'm from Foley, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Friendly Foley. Um, <laughs> no, um, it's it's on 2nd Street South, um, kind of kitty corner from Walgreens. Okay. And we're next to actually the new coffee shop that opened up. Curvis, what's it called? It's Second one? Street Coffee oh, wait, House. Yeah, there's two. Of, there's former one liquid too. Yep, there's two. Yeah, there's two um, strip malls. There's yeah. a West Side Liquor one, and then we're in the other one. Gotcha. Okay. Next and you know, um, I started doing the videos just to tell stories of hope and and how to spread a message of hope during these last few years. And she's a perfect example of it. You know, longtime employee purchases the business and now she's taking it to a whole new level launching this online store wow this is what local businesses need need to hear because so many businesses can change the way they do business and grow yeah and i think we talked last week about stop stopping and i think so many people just maybe in fear or just stopped and and she's going to be wildly successful with that mm-hmm. online store. Oh, that's good. So be it's nuts. so yeah. inspiring. Yeah, yeah. It's a, and you're artistic too. So and I always think it's that part, like that that number thing, is super hard for me. I understand, sir, but you also can try to find the people that can help you, right? Get the figures that you need to do to get those things right. in line, right? Uh, find the help, reach out for the help that's out there that yep. really is going to help you out, and then then you'll be able to stick with what the things that you really do love too. Yes, never yeah. be afraid to ask for help and ask questions and and you do have to always believe in yourself and know yeah. know your purpose and your worth cuz everyone has value. So Now Carolyn for the store, how many employees do you have on a regular basis? I mm-hmm. have Three currently, mm-hmm. and actually my sister Colleen helps me out um, a bit. So yeah, we it works out so far with three. We'll see what happens with mm-hmm. the online. Um, when that takes off, we might have to have more. Soon, I'm going to have to find them like a twenty thousand square foot warehouse you to, say, to store all their stuff Wendy. they're shipping. Well, yeah. she has, she has. You have a warehouse, and then uh, working with another small business that had some space yep. for her online, she didn't have room in the store. Okay. I go like. Or are you going to run a shipping operation here? Right. She goes, well, I don't know. Mm. And we're li- looking I'll at... find something. <laughs> uh, she, she did. She found something. and uh, Right in Sartell. She's Very another convenient. one of those female entrepreneurs, and I've had several of the years. I call them, uh, you know, I'm dating myself, but the unsinkable Molly Browns. Like, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're in this world where the news says the Titanic and we're sinking, but the unsinkable Molly Browns uh, are making small yeah. business 
happen every day across yeah. America. It's and Karen's great. one yeah. of them. Yes. That's so wonderful. Yes. I'm so glad. Well, I'm so glad that you came in today. I, I hope that so you'll keep coming back. And when you have you. time, I'm sure you get busy and it's hard to get away. Yes. Um, what is your online link? Oh. McKenzie'sBoutique.com. McKenzie'sBoutique.com. Be one of the first to order next yes, Wednesday. Yes, and you can go on actually right now and enter your email, and you that'll can. get you started. And, and yeah, That's awesome. it's very exciting. Now, Barry, are you going to be joining us next week? Well, I, I can. I can certainly talk about, and this would lead off of Carolyn's buying a store. People have businesses and succession plans. We'll talk about succession plans and <laughs> value drivers. What are things you can do to bring value to your business so your business is saleable and it's a marketable business? Yeah, I think those are great Great ideas. Well, I can be idea. back if you want me back. I always want you back. Okay. Want Carolyn sounds... back? We're going to have like 40 people in here pretty soon. Barry and I, yeah, every, I said we have unlimited stories to tell. So that, <laughs> I think we'll just keep spreading this message and hopefully yeah. inspire others. It's great. Yeah. Well, Carolyn, thank you so much thank for being you here. So this was much. really fun. And I love the way you're dressed. Yeah, I totally need it. I, I am ashamed today. <laughs> I'm going to get my sweatpants. Oh, look at, look at, I even have. My winter boots on. You know, that's sure. one thing I like about radio because I'm always <laughs> yeah. doing videos and hair, makeup. What are you oh, going to yeah. wear? This is great. Isn't it? Oh. I mean, honestly, I could come to work in my pajamas. I really could. I know. I'm liking it. Yeah. Every now and then. <laughs> every, you every stop week by and see videos me. Or you're a fashion plate on your videos. You're that's really good right. at video. Yeah. Yes. You stop oh, in and watch yeah. the video. It's Friday mornings at 6. Friday yes. mornings at 6. 6 a.m. And mm -hmm. you watch those at the same place that you just told me? On the, her Facebook page. The Facebook yep, page. Facebook page. Yes. Well, I'm just going to have to write all this stuff down. Well, you come I mean, in and I'll help come you Come to out. Sartell. She'll, she'll hook you up. Okay, I sounds will. good. I need to. I definitely need to. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. Thank you all for being here. As always, appreciate it. Wendy, thanks for putting everything together, as yes. you always do. Yes, You're so good at fun. it. It's been fun. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, we're coming up here on the top of the hour. we got news. Uh, at the top of the hour, then Jim and Mike, the travel guys, are going to come in here. And Ooh. I've always wanted to go to Ireland. I think it would be so much fun. And today, they're going to take us to Ireland. Whether you can go or not in person, at least we can imagine it in our minds. Uh, but they're going to tell us how much it costs, where the hot spots are, if you go in a group, what you should watch out for. They have a lot of fun telling us about those great places. And then Dr. Lee is going to be joining us. He is from the Central Minnesota Mental Health Center. And uh, he has had a great uh, stay there. He's going to be talking about some of the incredible collaborative work that he's done with the community over the past six years. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that at around 1140 today. We'll be back shortly. You're listening to It Matters with Kelly Cords. Good morning. You're listening to AM 1240 and 95.3 FM WJON St. Cloud, a town square media station broadcasting live from the Coburn studios, bringing families together since 1921. From ABC News, I'm Michelle Franzen. Senate Democrats poised to vote on changing Senate rules in order to carve out a path to pass voting rights legislation. U.S. Senators took to the floor debating federal voting rights legislation.